What's up, fragrant addicts? This is Harriet, and I am with Ron, my good friend. Today, I have a selection of the perfumes that I own that I obviously love. I've been collecting this since June this year, and I have to admit that I need to slow down with my purchases. Well, it's nice to have different fragrances for different occasions. The one that I use most mm -hmm. would be Chanel Platinum, Egoist. Yeah. Yes. Another one that I own, which I like, is Christian Dior Fahrenheit. Okay. Another one that I enjoy wearing is Cool Water Davidoff. I've noticed that you're more into the fresh, kind of clean I am. fragrances. I am. Red lips or pink lips? Red. Red. There's something very sexy about red. But you know, from my previous relationship, it's, it's they not... don't prefer red on me. Yeah, there's something kind of like sexy about the thought of red lipstick, mm -hmm. but perhaps the reality of it on certain people might not be that. Especially but when you public. say it, in my mind, I'm thinking red. red. Red is the way to go. Yeah. I just want you to select, let's say, six or eight. Okay. So let's treat the perfume as a, a, a like group of girls there. And then these are your potential dates. Yeah. We will start with the look of the bottle, the color, the design, the aesthetics. Being a bit of a naturalist, I'm attracted to this. Nasumoto is one of my most favorite. Nasumoto is also would, would attract me as well because it feels like it's got an oriental Japanese um, sound. Mm -hmm. I just want to correct that. Nasumato actually is an Italian word which means crazy nose. The reason why I say that is because there was a really cool DJ called Yoshimoto mm -hmm. who was Japanese. So when I saw the Mato, I thought Japanese. Yeah. It, I mean, it's a little bit tricky for me to see yeah. these bottles because I'm only seeing the sort of portrait of a lady. Yes. That sounds very interesting. It's unisex. But okay. Because yes. actually, I'm quite attracted to that bottle. I don't know, there was something about it. But yes, for some reason, that one's jumped out at me. The Christian Dioras do a very good job okay. of uh, cute. making stuff pretty. look pretty. Yeah, I yeah, like the little bow, I like Miss the Dior. Metal I like the, yeah, I like the kind of the color. This is a gift from my sister. Oh, that's very She's nice very of sweet, her. Yeah. Okay. I'm being drawn to simplicity today for some reason. That's like one of my latest addition to uh, my collection. I'm not sure why, but I, I these two are kind of very similar-ish. Obviously, one's okay. bigger and smaller. <clears throat> for Chanel, it's just classic. Mm. It just can't go wrong. Chanel number five. We've got three more. Okay, so <laughs> something about this simplicity that I'm enjoying today. I okay. can't even see the, the brand, brand name. Yes. I'll tell you the story later. He didn't know no, this anything. Is, this is totally at random. Promise, really, really promise. is. This is looking quite classic. Mm -hmm. Valentino. Yeah, I'm not surprised with a bottle like this. It actually sits Very quite... Very nice taste. Sits quite well with the Christian Dior, actually. So, so this is just the look of a bottle, really. Da Vinci. Oh, Givenchy. Givenchy. Excuse yes. my pronunciation. French. My French. You have a very interesting yes. choices. I think we'd start with this one. Now I want you to be more descriptive. This could almost be like a unisex. It's like a kind of a citrusy. I could almost wear that. Yeah, it's like it. Yeah. But, so this um, one. It's nice. I mm. like it. It's like it's not too heavy. This probably wouldn't be one of my favorites right. so far. Now the next one is from Nasomato. It embodies the female energy, the yin. This has got something about it, but I'm getting a bit of a nail varnish remover type sort of smell. Mm. Portrait of a Lady by Frederick Mal. Yeah, I like this one. I like it. Parlez-moi de Parfum, which is a French brand. They're based in Paris and Grasse. It's called Totally White because it's made of um, white flowers. Very understated, this mm -hmm. one, compared to pretty much everything I've smelled so far. <laughs> Pure kind of innocent smell, because sometimes I do find that women's perfume in general can be quite overpowered, a little bit too floral or fruity, exactly. something, and, and I like something just a little bit mm. understated and not so heavy yeah. on the nose. And then we've got the classic. Chanel, Chanel number five. Chanel number five. I mean, started. it's not terrible, you know. I wouldn't want to have to change my seat, but I think I prefer some of the others I've smelled today. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so this is the mystery bottle. This is the mystery bottle. Okay, I'm getting like a vanilla-y 
Hmm. You're good. Kind of some kind of sweets. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I quite like that actually. You like it? Yeah. It's it, it's not up there. Wait, it's probably sexy cute. Cute. You're good. That's the last oh, one. Oh, I'm really glad I put this in. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because this was just a kind of bit of a random at the end, you know, mm. and I just noticed the Givenchy and I was like... <laughs> Givenchy. Givenchy. Is Such it? a Londoner, aren't I? Excuse me. Givenchy. Good at what they do. Mm. I didn't expect those were the uh, impressions that you got from the perfumes because mm. I thought that you are going to like some more than the others, but it's quite actually the opposite. So sometimes it's just about going with something random in the moment and... Yeah. I think so. It's it's all about just the spontaneity. Mm. I don't know if yeah. that's a word. Spontaneity. It yes. certainly it is a word. A, it is yeah, a word. Wow. It's a very good word. So what is your most ideal date, if there's such one? Though? My most ideal date would be with a woman that I find very attractive on lots of different levels, mm -hmm. in a beautiful setting with a nice climate. Mm -hmm. with some good wine, some very nice food. We are going to separate and get rid of, yeah, let's get rid of four. Shorts. Didn't connect with me the most, would probably be Chanel number no. five right, today. So. I remember this being slightly overpowering, mm. slightly too for floral for me. I think I'm gonna let the Christian Dior, Dior go as well. I remember this Nail being my favorite bottle. Mm. I like this, but it would probably be maybe a scent that, like, as you mentioned, mm. cute or sexy, probably mm -hmm. more like cute. I need to demote one. Mm. Okay. Sadly. Um, going to go for this one. the white, because okay. just because it's almost a little bit too subtle. So I've made my decision. This has to be in the middle. These two in the middle. Move myself away from somebody because I've found their fragrance to be something that I haven't enjoyed and very mm. overpowering. Does it, does it affect you? If I went on a first date with somebody and I didn't like the way they smell, mm. that's not, that's gonna affect that's things. Same Definitely. thing with me as well, Definitely. like when I don't like the perfume. Or the yeah, scent. there's just, just something, and if that's, their, if that's their signature perfume, then it's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Sorry. Yeah. Regardless and of it's things, not something you could really say to someone early exactly. on. You know, you can't say, I don't like the way you smell. <laughs> it depends on how good your chemistry is, you know? It depends if you can really meet someone and just be honest with them from the very beginning. Exactly. There's no pretense, there's no nothing. You say, I think you're amazing. I think you're mm -hmm. gorgeous. Yeah. I really enjoy your company, but I just don't like your perfume. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the third and the last part. Select the, the top, top one. one. This is the woman that you are going to be taking out for a date in that whatever scenario you were envisioning a while okay. ago. I think I've got a winner. Mm -hmm. The Valentino is really, really doing it for me. But I'm just going to have one last. It's tough. <laughs> it's tough because... I get you. Yeah, they've got lots of... Um, <clears throat> the, traits. Yeah, mean? there's nothing that I don't like. That would, okay. that would probably now start to take a slight step okay. back. These two fragrances are like so different. Mm -hmm. What I'm what I'm deciding against, right. you know, this is quite a soft, understated, classy, something feminine, something. I almost want to, to taste this. I want to lick this piece of paper now mm -hmm. after smelling this. Can I not choose two? Can I not have? No. Can I not it's, have this? This one. How as would well? how would a woman feel? It takes two to tango. <laughs> it takes two to tango, definitely. Yeah. I mean, in terms of. Bottle and packaging, Valentino wins hands down. Okay, I agree. I like the bottle so But this is such an interesting, spicy, mm. lovely smell. Just because I actually want to lick that piece of paper, that's how much I like that smell. <laughs> and if you want to lick something, then, then I think you really, really like it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be the Valentino. Okay. Yes. So we've got a winner. Fragrant Addicts, it's the Valentino Sorry Portrait of a Lady. Yes. But Valentino takes the lead. Yes, yeah. it's been, it's classy, mm -hmm. sophisticated, it smells delicious, mm. even the color. This brand has 
a uniform uh, bottle design. Right. So okay. they have. So they constantly, it's yeah. just the name I mean, differs. Don't get me wrong. I do like this kind of like underskated, okay. kind of quite chic. You, you notice these are the ones that I picked out. You know, mm. these I didn't go for something like this that was you know really out there. looking very out there. <laughs> I was on this, but something I think it just looked a bit too big almost. Yeah. But yes, that's. Um, my honest view on everything. Exactly, and but hope, thank you so much. I hope you I hope It's very enlightening been, uh, for, yeah, for me and for the women out there. Good. That's very, interesting very, for you guys. I've found it really interesting. I've really enjoyed it. I think I've learned a lot today. And yes, thank you very much. You're welcome though, thank you for um, you know agreeing to do this. And I just wanted to like say quickly about this one. This is a perfume that I made. Good Yes. Oh. But this is still in the process of fine tuning it. Okay. The company called 4160 Tuesdays London. She, uh, Sarah McCartney, is based in um, Hammersmith. I did like this. Thank I did you. like it. It was a fun yeah, smell. I mean, it, it, did, felt it, so... didn't, it didn't quite make the top three. I know, it's okay. Yeah, that's the oh, reason really? why I don't want to say anything about the no, perfume. No, no, no. Neither yeah. notes I really, or stories I really about it or how I acquired it. Sarah has a perfumer that works for her as well named Harry. Um, I've spoken to him and asked him to sniff it. He said that he liked it, but he said that it needs a bit of heart to it, like mm. heart notes, okay. because only got like a top note and then the, the base notes. That's why it's not as profound as these mm. ones. And I was so happy when I asked you if it's a sexy or a cute, and when you said cute, yeah. I was like, yay. Kind of everyday scent. That's yeah, an yeah, yeah. everyday Sorry. scent. It's, I, I like it. Sorry, Chanel. Yeah. <laughs> Right, thank you so much for coming here to Notes of Scent headquarters and My chatting to... I really enjoyed it. Yeah, obviously with it being Christmas and as we can see with our oh, tree yeah, here today. You uh, know, I made this. Goodness, I love that with the oranges. That's yeah, yeah, really it's cool. Yeah. I already realized that you've, uh, you've got a great we... taste. Thank you. So thank uh, you. Or a great nose. A, a great nose, exactly. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much for your and I hope to see you next time. Yes. Bye.